from Action Tab World Headquarters. This is T.A. Barnhart with another Tab Report. What is a tax credit? We know what government spending is. Social Security, Medicare, roads, food stamps, war, schools, police and fire, scientific research, and government itself. Government spending is easy. We know what it looks like, and we know we want to cut it. We don't all agree on what those cuts should be, but as a nation, there's near unanimous agreement that the national debt is too high and we need to reduce it. A lot. We're more divided on how to do it. Yes, we all agree that spending should be cut, but some of us also believe that revenues need to be increased. After all, corporations and the wealthy are not paying their fair share, not even close. If we're going to cut spending on schools, infrastructure, safety regulations, and even the military, shouldn't rich people pony up a little bit more? Why shouldn't companies like ExxonMobil, making the biggest profits any corporation has made in the history of everything, pay a bit more? Why shouldn't we raise revenues while we're cutting and in some cases gutting government spending. And that's where tax credits come in. Whatever right-wing propagandists like Grover Norquist and Fox News say, getting rid of tax credits is not a tax increase. Getting rid of tax credits is cutting government spending. Let me explain with a tax credit near and dear to Oregon homeowners, your mortgage tax credit. When you fill out your taxes, does the fact that you pay a mortgage reduce your income or property taxes in any way? No, of course not. Take out your 2010 tax form and look at it. The taxes you owe are the taxes you owe, period. The amount on the appropriate line of your form shows exactly what you owe. Now, when you fill in the amount of your mortgage credit, you put that number on a different line. The taxes you owe stay exactly the same. But the government says, hey, we'll pick up the tab for part of your taxes to help you pay your mortgage. That's the mortgage credit at work. The state of Oregon giving you money in the form of a tax credit. Imagine instead a different system for helping you out with your mortgage. You could pay your full taxes without the credit. Then when you submit your taxes, with nothing deducted for your mortgage, you would also send in a mortgage rebate form. The government would then send you a rebate check for that amount. For you, it really is a six of one, half a dozen of the other affair. You end up with the same amount of money either way. And it works exactly the same for the government. Either way, they're giving you money. Whether it's a credit on your taxes or a check in the mail, it's the same thing. A tax credit is government spending. So as conservatives and Tea Parties demand we cut spending while they refuse to even consider increasing revenues, think about tax credits and what they really are. If we're going to take money from our schools, if we're going to let our bridges crumble and collapse, if we're going to stop making sure our food is safe to eat, if we're going to let the poor and the jobless suffer even more, Hell, if we finally gotten to the point where we tell the freaking Pentagon they have to cut back, all in the name of reducing the national debt, shouldn't we also be cutting spending on tax credits? Not your mortgage tax credit. Not tax credits that help businesses create jobs. But tax credits for CEO perks like corporate jets. For corporations like ExxonMobil to increase profits. For Wall Street banks and the billionaires who own and hoard so much of America's wealth. Cutting back on tax credits is not a tax increase. It's a cut in government spending. If you are honest about wanting to cut government spending in order to reduce the national debt, then you need to insist that Congress cut tax credits for corporations and the wealthy. Spending is spending. And no amount of ideological grandstanding will change the fact that tax credits are government spending. For the Action Tab, this is T.A. Barnhart. Goodbye.